Now in this question, the diagram shows a glass window consisting of a rectangle of height h, okay, and the width of 2r right here, okay, great, and a radius of r for this semicircle. Now, the perimeter of the window is this. Okay, great. So this is something given to you. You have to use this somewhere, somehow. Part 1. Express h in terms of r. So, first thing first, we know that the value of p the perimeter is 8. So how would you find the perimeter of this shape? By definition, the perimeter is the distance around the object. So let's see how can we find this. We begin here. That will be this. So 2R plus H plus H over here and plus this length of this semicircle. Now you must know by now that the circumference of a circle is given to you by 2 pi R, if that makes sense. Right? So it means that if you want to find half of the circle, you have to divide by r that will simply pi r. So pi r and then equal to 8. Simplify, you will, be, you will have 2r plus 2h plus pi r is equal to 8. Now h, so you have 2h, that will be 8 minus 2r minus pi r. h will be 8 minus 2r minus pi r divide by by 2. Okay? Or you can simplify as well. h will be 4 minus r minus pi over 2 r. There you go. That will be h in terms of r. Now for part 2, we have to show the area of the window is given by this. So how would you find the area of the window? There's two parts. Obviously, on top we have this 1, which is area of a semicircle, and 2, we have this area of this rectangle. So step by step, Number one, semicircle will be area of circle is pi r square divided by two. For area of semicircle, that will be pi, radius is r square, and half is half. So this is part one. Now for part two, area of this rectangle. So pretty easy. Rectangle will be length times width, which is equal to two r times h. That will be two r h. So let's write this down. Area we have found will be half pi r square and then plus the value of 2 r h. Now we know h was found to be 4 minus r minus pi over 2 r. So let me rewrite this down. So you'll have half pi r square plus 2 r times 4 minus r minus pi r over 2 r. Now let's see what do we get. Half pi r square plus 8r minus 2r square minus 1. Here you will have minus, this will be cancelled out. You have pi r square. Now what else? So let's see what else can we do here. So we have 8r minus 2r square. And here we have plus half pi r square minus pi r square. That should be minus half pi r square. And this is shown as required for question part two. Now, part three, given that r can vary, we have to find the value of r at which a has a stationary value. So pretty easy. As we know, at the stationary value, we have to have a over dr has to equate to zero. So let's find that. So dA by dr has to be, first thing will be eight minus, that should be uh, four r and then minus pi r. Then equate that to, to 0. So you will have 4r plus pi r has to be 8. So divide, so we just factorize, you will have 4 plus pi 8. r will have to be 8 divided by 4 plus pi. Let's equate that, you will have 8 divided by 4 plus pi, that should be 1.12. And that will be your value for r correct to 3SF. Of course, it is centimeters. Now, following up, we have to find the nature of this stationary value. So we have to in, uh, differentiate one more time. D2A by DR2, that should be 0 minus 4 minus pi. As you can see, that will be negative value. So because it is a negative value, we conclude the stationary value will be a maximum value. So that's your reasoning. Because it is a negative value, it will be a maximum value. 
and that will be your question in relation to differentiation.